welcome to Mama Ruth's house. I'm so glad you stopped in. Today we're going to be making some wonton soup, homemade, um, except we're not making the wontons. I'm choosing to use the um, Costco wontons. These are the mini ones, so we're going to use 40 in this, and this makes six servings. Um, I usually buy the chicken and cilantro, but this is what I have here. So these are a little higher in points. This is going to be four points per serving. So it's still, it's still really good. Um, and it has a lot of delicious, uh, things inside, uh, vegetables and, and, um, just a yummy broth. But before we get started, I'm just going to pour, um, some broth. We're going to use two cans of the low sodium chicken broth. I'm going to get this to boiling while I'm talking to you. And two cups of water. And we're going to put that in here to boil. And I just wanted to tell you a little bit about what's going on with me. Um, why I haven't been making as many videos. Um, I'm hoping to get to back to making some videos for you guys soon. Um, but I have been having some tests done and I do have stage two invasive ductal cancer um, in my breast. And so I will be getting treatment and surgery. So I may be on and off a bit um, for a while, but I'll be back and um, as of yesterday, I am down 81 and a half pounds. I'm so excited to, to um, share that with you. And I'm going to be positive and the outcome should be good. And this is my second bout with cancer, breast cancer. So uh, six years ago, I had breast cancer in the other breast. And this is a secondary breast cancer. So if any of you guys are out there and um, don't get your mammograms. This is how they found it. I get a yearly mammogram and we found it in that. So please get tested. Go and do your yearly mammogram when you're 40 or if you have breast cancer in your family. Uh, talk to your doctor about going sooner. I'm, I'm a total advocate. That's how I found the first one is my yearly exam. And this is how I found this one. And it's very, very small. So I'm very lucky. And um, we don't believe that it's spread into my lymph nodes, but we'll have to test a couple and um, make sure when they do the surgery. And I may be having it this week. I'm not sure. Or next week. Um, they said as soon as I have my um, meeting with my oncologist and my surgeon that the surgery will be fairly quickly after that. And I have that meeting tomorrow. So I just wanted to share with you guys why I haven't been on and... Um, if I haven't been on, if I don't come on and, and make a video here and there, um, please bear with me. Don't, uh, please still, still subscribe and watch my videos. I appreciate it. Um, it just really ups my spirits when I read your comments and, and all of those things. So with all that being said, let's get started and make us some wonton soup. Put you down so you can see. All right, so we're gonna bring our chicken broth and our water to a boil. And once that's boiling, we're going to be adding some mushrooms. And you can use whatever kind you want. This is what I had on hand, just the, the button mushrooms. And then we're gonna add some bok choy that I sliced up. And then we're gonna add our wontons. I did, you could do two garlic uh, cloves. I did three. I like it a little more garlic. Um, I did two tablespoons of the low sodium soy sauce. And then one tablespoon of the sesame oil, just to give it a little deliciousness. And then we're going to be adding for garnish, some green onions. It smells good already. I haven't even done anything, but just the ingredients out here smell delicious. So it takes a little bit for this to get boiling. I have just had a wonderful visit with 
Um, today we went out to lunch with our really, really good friends that we go to Bodega Bay with. Um, Nick and Janice. Hi, Nick and Janice, if you're watching. Um, yesterday I got to spend the day with my sister and that was amazing. We had an amazing time shopping and having breakfast and lunch. I mean, dinner actually. And we shopped all day and we had a ball and Mary, hello, if you're watching. And then last weekend, we spent um, one of our days on, on the weekend with my very, very, very dear friend that I've known since we were 11. And we've been friends for life, um, Anne. And hello, Anne, if you're watching, I love you all so much. And thank you so much for all your support that you guys uh, give me. And it's been just a blessing being able to spend that time with you guys. So let's just keep going. I hope everyone has had a... I hope everyone has have a, had a wonderful day. I know I have. We it's been beautiful here. It was it's a little overcast, but the weather's nice. I have my Mama Ruth's house apron on that uh my good friends got me on my 60th birthday. I love it to death. This will be just a few minutes and then we'll get it to boiling and then we can add all of our ingredients. This is a very quick soup to make. You can make it after work. It takes about 30 minutes to just throw it together. Um, after we get everything in, we're just gonna cook it for about 15 minutes. We're gonna simmer it and, um, and then we'll be good to go. I love wonton soup. And it lasts in the refrigerator in an airtight container for about five days. So I think I'm going to take it for lunch this week. Starting to boil. I didn't have baby bok choy, so I just cut up bok choy and, and I'll use that. But you can put um, baby bok choy and then just make it you don't have to cut it up too much. Just make it whole if you'd like. I feel like the sesame oil gives it that, um, that wonderful Asian flavor. You don't want to overcook your wontons because they'll just start falling apart. So you got to, um, 15 minutes is, is a good for the frozen wontons. And of course, you don't want to overcook your vegetables or anything like that because it just is a nice, gives it a nice little crunch. And our mushrooms will release a little bit of um, liquid as well. Um, it's getting nice and hot, just about ready for everything to go in. All right, we're going to add the wontons. That we're going to put the kids in the hot tub. And then I'm going to give that a little stir. And then I'm going to add all our vegetables here. This is our bok choy and our mushrooms. This is not something my husband would probably eat, but I love it. Add my garlic. I just crushed up a couple of few, three cloves of garlic. Put our sesame oil in there and our soy sauce. Pick up so those vegetables and um, wontons pick up all that deliciousness from that broth. All right, so we're going to, to simmer this for about 15 minutes. I am going to put the lid on and then we'll be back and ready to try it. Okay, we're back. It's been 15 minutes. It smells amazing. We're going to give it a try. I am going to keep you guys updated on anything that I find out about um, my treatment just so I keep you guys in the loop. Put some of this in our bowl. 
it smells just like when I buy it in the restaurant. Oh, it smells so good. All right, I'm going to bring you up so you can see. I'm going to turn this off. So I'm going to add a few um, of the green onions on top. So that looks like this. And then we're going to test it. I'm going to test the broth first. With my little bok choy in there. Oh, it's super, super hot, of course. Oh, it smells so good. I don't know about you, but I love bok choy. I wish you guys could smell it. It really does smell just like what you buy in the restaurant. And it's so easy to make. Mm. Mm, that is delicious. Mm. Now you can choose to put um, mushrooms in yours. You don't have to. Um, and you don't have to put the bok choy. I really like the bok choy in it. Um, mine, my uh, restaurant has bok choy in theirs. And I just, I just love it. So this is a wonderful dish that I thoroughly enjoy and um, I am going to serve this into my six containers so that I can take it and save it for lunches. Um, just in case I have to have surgery this week, at least I'll have it in the fridge and I won't um, be off track. So what I said um, in my to my husband and to my family and my Weight Watcher family is that, um, you know, I may not be able to control what's going on with me um, or health wise, but I can con still control what I put in my mouth and keep on my Weight Watcher plan. Um, I just want to thank you guys for all of your support. And um, I know I've got a journey ahead. And with all of you guys there right beside me, I, um, I know that I'll have all the prayers and good thoughts. And I want to thank you again for watching. And please subscribe, share. And um, until next time, make a fantastic day. Bye.